Ooh. Ooh, I got a tent. You did what? I bought a tent. But we sleep in a hammock. Good morning. Oh, why? So I'm a huge advocate for hammock camping. I've hammock camped for years. Uh, sure, they weigh a little bit more, but that weight is well worth it for the good sleep and the comfort that you get sleeping in a hammock. So why am I switching over now? Uh, I love going backpacking out west and I plan to do it a lot more. And a lot of times out west, you'll be camping up in the mountains above tree line or out in the desert. And last time I checked, it was pretty hard to hang a hammock from a cactus or on a rock. So I went out and I bought the most popular tent amongst through hikers. It's the Duplex from z -Packs. This tent only weighs 19.4 ounces. Yes, I bought a $600 Dyneema tent. But you know what they say, go big or go home. Buy once, cry once. So I didn't want to buy a cheap tent and wish that I had this and end up buying this eventually. So I decided to just go for it right off the bat. I decided to buy the Cadillac right away instead of buying a cheaper tent and wishing that I had this tent the whole time. Now this isn't a gear review of the duplex. This is a video about my journey of trying to learn how to sleep on the ground again. Now I bought some of these MSR Groundhog steaks that are a lot smaller. I'm going ultra light, I might as well go all the way, right? <laughs> all right, I bought the Nemo Tensor insulated long wide pad so i'm going to try to blow it up and put it in the this pump sack thing the vortex pump sack with the nemo tensor sleeping pad it kind of sucks I think I'm going to get the little battery power pump. All right, I've got my top quilt that I usually sleep in in my hammock. It's a 20 degree. It's supposed to be about 35 degrees tonight. Uh, I have the strap that I'm going to put around my sleeping pad. And I have an inflatable pillow here. Now, this isn't the pillow I'm going to use. My buddy Miyagi is actually making me one that's a little bit thicker because uh, I need a little bit thicker pillow when I'm laying on the ground. Alright, I'm all set up. The pad feels pretty good. I don't think my pillow is quite thick enough like I talked about. I'll shove a jacket or some clothes under there and make it a little thicker tonight. But the pad feels alright. We'll see once I start rolling around. Uh, if I can stay warm with that top quilt, but you can see I have plenty of headroom here. I'm having a little bit of an issue right now. It's just weird being able to see through this Dyneema, uh, it being so transparent. So that's going to take a little bit of getting used to when I'm sleeping and the sun comes up. I might have to do one of these in the morning, but uh, yeah, all things are looking pretty good so far. Look around here. Plenty of room over here for my pack. Some of you uh, tent people are probably laughing at how dumb this video is, but it's all new to me. So I'm gonna go out, build a fire. I have a couple pork chops for dinner. Relax by the campfire before I uh, come out and try to sleep in my tent for the first time. So I have a big trip planned to the Grand Canyon two weeks from today. I'm going to have to sleep in that tent uh, for that trip and smart backpackers don't take out new gear a long ways away from home on major trips like that for the first time. 
So I set up my tent in the backyard a couple weeks ago just to see how everything went together, make sure there weren't any flaws. And now I'm out camping in the woods, probably 10 miles away from home, just for an overnighter, sleeping on that pad, sleeping on the ground, seeing what adjustments I should make before I go on that big trip in a couple weeks. Good night. Good morning. It was a uh, relatively long and uncomfortable night, as to be expected. Anytime you sleep anywhere for the first time, uh, you're not going to sleep real well. Uh, it was a little chilly last night, even though it was probably about freezing and I have a 20 degree quilt. Uh, now I didn't put on my real thick socks and I didn't put on any long underwear or extra layers um, But where I got real cold was right around my belt line right in the midsection and that is because I roll over a lot and uh, I put the one piece of shock cord here uh, Around my pad and uh, lesson learned is there are three attachment points so when I do this next time <coughs> I'm gonna have all three of those shock cord pad uh, connectors uh, and I'm gonna really cinch those down uh, also I didn't uh, buckle the top of my top quilt here right away right around my neck and I pulled the shock cord that's around that draft collar real real tight and that helped out as well uh, so one of the other things I didn't expect but I found out last night is uh, typically you know I'm about six foot and I can lay in my top quilt in my ha hammock and be able to pull my covers up over my head I know you're not supposed to, but that's what I do. And for some reason, laying on the pad here, I don't know if it's because I'm going around uh, the pad with the shock cords underneath, but it's not quite as long. So I can't pull it up over my head. So again, once I figured out I couldn't do that and my face is gonna be out uh, and I buckled the top, um, you know, really, it's a battle to keep that hot air inside of my top quilt. So, yeah, all good lessons learned. I am going to pack up, maybe have a little cup of hot chocolate, and uh, go home. <laughs> I feel like I'm prepared for that rim to rim to rim hike in the Grand Canyon in a couple weeks. Now, if you'd like to see that video, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and they will notify you when I put out any new video, including the rim to rim to rim video. So, uh, also check me out on Instagram. I have all sorts of photos on there. Check me out on Facebook and, uh, Hey, it's nice out here. Go out and be in the woods. And someday, hopefully, we'll run into each other and I'll see you out on the trail. It only weighs 19.4 pounds. Why? I bought a tent. I bought a tent. I bought, I bought a tent.